Tonight we're going to turn now to the food guy. He is devoting each week in March to those classic Chicago restaurants we all love. Yes, we can't get enough of them. And tonight he's off to Paris by way of Bucktown, <laughs> where a 30-year-old bistro continues to churn out the classics. Steve Delinsky joining us now with the story. Steve? This is great prep for Alex's trip to uh, Paris. This I'm all here, right? Steve. Doing all homework years. tonight. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, two sons have been carrying on their father's legacy after he tragically died in a car accident eight years ago. Their mom passed a few years later, but they continue treating their regulars and newcomers like family, cooking solid French food rooted in tradition. The memory of Jean-Claude Poilevet is everywhere on pictures and paintings. His spirit dominates Les Bouchons, the cozy French bistro which turned 30 last year. Since 2016, his sons Oliver and Nicholas have been in charge. The menu hasn't changed much. We like to keep a nice mix of, of classic and you know some of the new stuff that we're doing. A Lyonnaise salad is a fine start. A salad for people who don't like salad. Bacon and croutons that are crisped up in bacon fat. Mustard vinaigrette with a frise and a escarole. You want that egg to, to run out and emulsify into the dressing. French onion soup is another classic. We make a beef stock. The key is like caramelize the onions, doing it nice and slow and really like being patient with it. A little sourdough crouton, some Swiss and Gruyere on top of that. The crock is placed under a broiler until the cheese is golden and charred. Cheesy, beefy. Escargot is another staple of the menu. They're snails, just FYI. Basically, the escargot is just a vehicle for the butter. Dip that bread in the butter the whole time, and get a little escargot in there. And it's a timeless dish. The whole roasted duck is a showstopper, presented table side, then carved and served on a platter with cabbage and spatzel. And actually, Julia Child, one time she came in here and ate the whole duck by herself. She had an appetite though, but yeah, most people, it's a two to three person dish, cabbage and some spatzel, so kind of like an Alsatian type preparation. Sauce bigarade, which is kind of like an orange Grand Marnier sauce. Creme brulee, another classic with its scorched sugar cap, reminds you why it's been around for so long with its subtle sweetness. Oliver is quick to credit Chef Waldo, who has outlasted everyone. He's worked here since the beginning, since day one, 93. He's our chef, and he's basically the heartbeat of the restaurant, and this place wouldn't be here without him. As for maintaining their parents' standards, Poilevé says the fact there is so much of them in every fiber of the restaurant keeps him and his brother grounded. It was hard, you know, because everything reminds you of them, but for me, it's like a blessing to have this place with their spirit inside it. The brothers also run Obelix in River West. That has a more modern bent for sure, but if you've never been to Les Bouchon, you owe it to yourself to see what a 30-year-old classic looks and tastes like. More info on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just search for The Food Guy. Not many restaurants can claim to have had Julia Child as a customer. No, eating right. the whole duck. Eating the whole duck. Yes. I gotta imagine the bread's pretty.